Hello everyone, let's take a look at the 2022 Junior Kangaroo paper today. And this is going to be the last one of everything. All right, so let's get to it. For the first question, well, it says that someone has eight dice, each with one of the letters P, Q, R, and S written on all six faces. So she's built the block such that the dice with faces which touch have different letters written on them. And what letters written on the face of the one dice which is not shown? So first of all, we need to know which dice is not shown. It should be the one behind, which is beneath R, to the back of P, and, well, basically it's going to be that one on the left of S, right? So it means that it's beneath R, to the inside of P and to the inside of S, so it can't be R, P, or S. That's why it has to be Q. All right. That's how we do the first question. For the second one, when it is 4 p.m. in London, it's 5 p.m. in Madrid, and 8 a.m. in San Francisco. So, what's the time difference between these uh, cities? So if it's 8 a.m. in San Francisco, 5 p.m. in Madrid. It says that Julio went to bed in San Francisco at 9 p.m. yesterday. So it means that that's going to be adding 13 hours, right? And for Madrid, after adding 13 hours to 5 p.m., it's going to be 6 a.m. on the next day. So if Julio went to bed at 9 p.m. yesterday, in Madrid it is 6 a.m. today, because that's on the next day, right? So that's for question two. As for question three, it says that there's a basket containing 25 pieces of fruit. On the way home, someone ate one apple and three pears. Someone ate three apples and two pears. So all together, that's four apples and six at uh, five pairs, right? So when they got home, they found that the basket contains the same number of apples as it did pears and no other types of fruits. So all together, there's 25. Take away four, take away five. That's 16. 16 divided by two, that's eight. So now there are eight pears and eight apples. And on top of the five that's already eaten, that's going to be 13 pairs altogether. All right, that's question three. As for question four, one standard balloon is going to leave, lift the basket, adding 80 kilograms. So that's balloon. Two balloons is going to lift a basket and 180 kilograms. So it means that one balloon can lift 100 kilograms and basket adding 80 kilograms is 100 kilograms. Because if you compare the difference between them, one more balloon, 100 more kilograms. So the basket is 100 tick away 80, which is 20 kilograms, all right? And question number five, positive integer one, and every fourth integer are colored red, which means one, five, nine, so on. Two and every one blue, so two, six, 10, so on. Three and every one yellow, three, seven, 11, and on. Four, eight, and every fourth are green, so 12 and going on. And now, a yellow one and a blue one, adding them together, which means yellow one, blue one. Ah, oh, that's a red one. Yellow one, blue one, adding them together. So what could the color be? First of all, you need to know what's the difference between the four categories, all right? 
So the first one, the red ones, is having a remainder of 1 when divided by 4. The second one, blue ones, having a remainder of 2. The yellow ones having a remainder of 3. The green ones having a remainder of 0. So if you add up a remainder 2 with a remainder 3, you're going to get remainder 5 when divided by 4, which is impossible because 5 is greater than 4, right? So it's going to end up with remainder 1 after take away 4. So it means that it has to be a red one, all right? So that's remainder property.